Hi, this is a walkthrough for adding an SMTP delivery option to a DDP. SMTP is a good alternative to a Salesforce email delivery option. The main advantages are the ability to use draw loop merge tags in the subject and body of the email message, and the fact that the email will appear to be delivered on behalf of the account stored within the SMTP credential fields within the delivery option. To add the SMTP delivery option, you must first navigate to the DDPs tab. Once you're in the DDPs tab, select the appropriate DDP, then navigate down to the Delivery Options object and select the New Delivery Option button. This will initiate the Record Type menu. Select SMTP Service in the Record Type menu and hit Continue. This will initiate the Delivery Option Edit page. In the first field, you want to give the SMTP Service Delivery Option a name. The next field you want to enter the domain of your SMTP service as well as the username you want to send on behalf of. If you wish to skip the document processing bar, you can uncheck the Wait for Document to Process checkbox. Also, if you'd like to skip the PDF preview, you can select the checkbox under Skip PDF Preview. If you want the SMTP delivery option to come in in a certain order for Section 3 of the DDP Visual Force page, enter a number in the Display Order field. If you'd like to limit the availability of the SMTP delivery option, you can choose between non-mass only, mass only, or hidden in the Limit Availability dropdown. You can control the document output type in the document output type drop down, your options are PDF, which returns a single combined PDF of all of your DDP documents, separate PDFs, which returns a single PDF for each document in your DDP, originals, which will return all of your original files in original format, or PDF and originals, which will return a single combined PDF of all your DDP documents and all of your original files in original format. And whatever you select in the document output type will be placed in the attachment portion of your email message. If you choose to return originals, you can select the Turn Tracking On checkbox. This will turn tracking on within your Word documents. And if you'd like to display a help text to your users so they can better understand what this delivery option does, you can enter a text in the help text area. In the second section of your SMTP delivery option, you can control certain aspects of your email message. By selecting internal email, you can essentially remove the contact selected in the first portion of the DDP Visual Force page from the list of recipients for this email. Checking HTML email allows you to code your email body in HTML as opposed to just entering regular text. The third field will become the subject of your email. If you wish, you can use draw loop merge tags in here to make the subject dynamic. The fourth field is what controls the body of the email message. In addition to the subject line, you can use draw loop merge tags in here as well. To the right side of the email options section, by checking allow subject and email changes, you can allow the user at runtime to make changes to the subject and email text. To add recipients to the email, you can add email addresses in the additional to field. If you want to add carbon copy recipients, you can enter email addresses in the CC text area. To add blind carbon copy recipients, you can add email addresses in the BCC text area. And then the final section of the SMTP delivery options is your storage solution. By checking allow document storage, you can provide the user with the option of attaching the output file to one of your storage solutions. By selecting require document storage, 
you automatically store the file to one of your storage solutions. To the right, store as allows you to choose your storage solution for the checkboxes to the left. Your options are an attachment, which simply attaches the output file back to Salesforce from the record you deployed the DDP from in the notes and attachments object. Loop storage, if you have a loop storage license. Box.net, if you have a box.net application installed in Salesforce. Content, if you have content enabled in your Salesforce org or FTP if you have FTP credentials and FTP folders available for use. Once you satisfied all the information necessary for the edit page, you can select save and move on. Once you select save, you'll be taken back to the SMTP delivery option detail page where you'll have to change and store your password for your SMTP service. Once your SMTP credentials are saved, the SMTP delivery option is ready for use. To give you an idea of how it's used, you can navigate to a record for your DDP, select the Loop Plus button, and then choose your new SMTP delivery option in Section 3 of the DDP Visual Force page. Most likely, you'll also need to choose a contact. This contact is what populates in the To portion of the email message. Once you satisfied all three sections of the DDP Visual Force page, select Run and the document will process. Once your document is done processing, you'll be provided with the red link that will allow you to download the PDF to your desktop. If you're satisfied with the output file, you can go ahead and select email and your email message and output file will be sent to your recipient. After you select the email button, you should be prompted that the email has been sent via SMTP. Go ahead and select OK. And then the recipient of your email should receive the message in their inbox. And that is how you add an SMTP delivery option to a DDP. Thank you.